Digital Chef. Digital Chef. What is up, Terran Woods? I'm back with some brand new gameplay right here on Slicing, Time Dicing, Game, and Entertainment. We're going to be playing a little bit of Project Fantasy. So, Project Fantasy, as you can see, is a pixelated 2D wow, platform fighting game. That sounds about right. Created by Pixelated Vision. Don't worry, I'm going to leave links to the Patreon, Twitter page, all that good stuff in the description of this video, so don't worry about that. So you have links to everything you need to know about the game and how to get the game and how to get more information about the game. So this is actually a demo build. This is actually an earlier build that he actually uh, just updated a couple of days ago, which is October 26th at the time of this video, which is October 30th, right before Halloween. Ooh. Um, he updated the game with some like some quick fixes. I think he's actually going to change the entire engine of the game relatively in the near future. So this won't be how the game looks. This is not a finished product at all. This is kind of a build of the game. And so I'm actually a Patreon for the game. If you noticed that at the uh, very beginning of this video, you see the Digital Chef Patreon soul, which is really cool. So shout out to Bye Bye Blue. That's his Patreon name and his Twitter name. Again, I'll have links to all of this. So he has different levels of his Patreon, of course. It's like a dollar, three dollars, and five dollars at the max. So if you're a five dollar Patreon member, you get access to all the builds of the game, some of his other projects, and also you're a Patreon soul in uh, Project Fantasy. Which is really cool. So that's why you see the Digital Chef Patreon flame and you get your name said by the announcer. Really cool. Some really nice features. But into the gameplay itself, it's really deep. Like, I got about maybe. 12 minutes of gameplay that we're gonna check out for this video. I'm not gonna talk over this entire video I want you guys to actually see the gameplay and kind of get used to it. But I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I've uh, Picked up on from the game. It's a lot of one. It's a lot of fun It's a little challenging because of the pixelated graphics So it's hard to see where your character is facing Sometimes it's hard to figure out which ways you're, um, you're looking It's be a little disorienting, but the actual gameplay is solid like it's very technical. There's a lot of move set. There's a lot of. It's actually like each character has like 45 attacks or something crazy in it. So it's very deep. It's not just a basic, you know. It is basically a two-button fighter. You have your X and your uh, like your light attacks and your heavy attacks. And you have like a magic. Well, I'll get into that in a second. But it's pretty straightforward. There's only a few buttons, but the technical. But the game is there for it to be something really, really special in the end. And it has a lot of potential. Like, I'm really, I'm so happy, like, to be a Patreon for the game to really hope, really help the game develop and hopefully get it some exposure. So I want to put it up on the channel and hopefully people can see it and get into it. Um, so this build of the game, you have six characters. They're all very different. Actually, there's also a Discord page. If you become a Patreon member, you actually get access to the Discord page. And uh, in the Discord, it kind of breaks down the characters and kind of weaknesses, their strengths and everything like that. So I definitely, I don't want to spoil too much. This is kind of a brief overview of the game. I want you to definitely check out some of the details for yourself to get a better feel of the game. There's also a tutorial that Pixelated Vision actually posted. They actually did like a tutorial. It's about maybe 12 videos, I think, of the tutorial. Just a brief overview of the game, how the game plays, some of the mechanics and things like that. And there's some really cool stuff in the game. Like, there's a parry. So if you block perfectly, you parry and you get a brief opening. Um, there's the magic gate. If you look at the screen right now, you see like the blue bar. That's your magic gate, like in most fighting games. And I think you can go all the way up to three. And there's different levels of magic. I forget what they're called. I think they're called signatures. I think that's what they're called in the game. But again, this game is still like in a very early phase, so all the names and stuff can change by then. But it's really cool. And every character has like a different element attached to their character. Um, one of the characters I play with, Gin. Who I'm not playing as right now, but I'm fighting against again. He's fire, so his staff, you see like the flames and stuff come up. There's some really cool, there's like some really cool features in the game that I really like. Like taunting, there's actually, uh, taunting actually serves as a utility. Like in most games, taunting, you just taunt, just because it's kind of there. But in Project Fantasy, taunt gives you back shield, because if you hold your shield down, kind of like a smash, I think it's, think in the tutorial you get 10 hits, and after that, your shield will break. But if you taunt, you get three pips. You can get up to three pips of shield back, or three hits of shield back, which is really cool. So you, your taunt actually has utility in the game, 
which is very Street Fighter Third Strike ass. Which is very Third Strike, which I kind of appreciated when I saw that. But that's very nice. That's a very nice feature because in Third Strike, the taunts all the certain things for each character. So it's kind of cool that taunting has a universal feature in the game. And the computer just like what's my ass most of these videos. Like it's still trying to figure out like how like what works, what doesn't work, and hit detection, and trying to figure out frames and speeds and yeah, like the game is still very raw, but it's so much fun and it's just it's difficult. I think it's frustrating just because I'm still trying to figure out like what hits, what doesn't hit, and the computer of course knows everything, so it's frustrating, but it's kind of rewarding when you get like a combo because there's like a combo system, so you get like you know. A four hit, five hit combo. It feels really nice and feels really rewarding. So I'm still figuring things out. Um, anything else really about the? Uh, that's about it. There's also some other cool things. I don't want to spoil it too much. I definitely say check out the tutorial because there is like dashing, there's air dodging, there's like ledge hoppings. Uh, one of the characters she has like a clean, so she can clean the edges. Like I like the stages, like the pixelated graphics. It take a little while to get used to, but it's something very endearing about it is some um, even though they're pixelated you can't really see a whole lot it's still very fluid and very nice and some of the stages are really cool like it's one stage i think it's in the video where it's raining and so there's pixelated rain coming down and you fight it's really nice uh one of the stages you can really see the reflection of the characters in the water which is really cool like little this little nuanced thing that i really really like that i really enjoy about the, and every character plays completely different and they're all unique and they'll have their own personalities even though they don't have a lot of you can't see a lot visually they all have a lot of characters which I think is really cool but I've definitely been enjoying it I'm definitely going to try to get more video for um, Project Fantasy up on the YouTube channel this is kind of a kind of a, uh, a overview of everything and then as I play more characters I might try to do a video for every character roughly maybe just try to get my feel on everybody um, again it's probably first Right now in the video, I'm actually playing this game with the fire. So you'll probably see Gim first, because I kind of really enjoy Gim. He's kind of a mid-range poke character, which I'm kind of getting used to, because like, I'm really enjoying him. But like, the one character, his name is Moby. I'm pretty sure Moby's like the Ryu of the game, because he seems like he's kind of the poster child, or he's the poster character. So if you look at the trailer, like that's a nice six of combos, sorry. But you look at like the review trailer for Project Fantasy, Moby is kind of the character that you see with the trailer a lot. So I think he's kind of the face of the game. So he's probably the Ryu. So he's probably the character I need to learn to really understand how Project Fantasy works. But the game is a lot of fun. It's challenging. I'm pretty sure it's going to be harder to master. But I just like I just want to see the game continue to develop. I really want to give the game some exposure. Because outside of the tutorial and like the review trailer they did, there isn't any exposure for the game. So I'm trying to do kind of my part. And um, you know, if you follow the channel for longer, you know how much I love indie games and indie fighters and just things created by indie developers. Just trying to give them some love, cause you know, just so they don't have to be mainstream, but just show them some love. And if you give someone enough love, eventually people will catch on. But hey, this game is actually a lot of fun. Hopefully, like someone else sees it and picks up on it. But it's solid. It has such a solid foundation. I can't wait to see oh, what else is in store for the game. So I think the the um the engine upgrade probably won't happen till probably like next year, but for right now I'll probably just be playing this version. There's still some things that need to be worked out. This is actually the state that I was talking about, where if you look, you see like the reflection of the characters on the ground and the water and like on the surface. It's so cool. Like it's such a nice little feature, like the water splashes and everything. Like so nice. There's some AAA games that don't do that right. So for a game that's like super pixelated and 2D and very simplistic in his art style can do that that shows you a lot that there's a lot of talent and there's a lot of love in this game something I appreciate and one of the reasons I fell in love with indie games because there's so much love that's involved with these games you don't have the biggest budget so you just put you kind of take what you have you put your love into it and sometimes you make magic and I think Project Fantasy has the potential to be magic so we'll see how it does in the near future anyway thank you for checking out this uh, kind of quick view Overview, retrospective, whatever you want to call it, of Project Fantasy, right here on Slice and Dice and Gaming Entertainment. Of course, I'll leave links to the Patreon, Twitter pages, and all that stuff in the description, so you can check out and support this game as well. I'm, I should definitely play it. Definitely, it's a free download. Or I think you become a Patreon, you get the free download, but it's five dollars. Like five dollars to support, you know, any developer. I, it's a lot for them. I think it's just the support. Five dollars might not seem like a lot, but 
five dollars a month is sixty dollars a year, which is one AAA game, which you you know it could mean a lot to them. And just support, but I think at the end of the day, the support means more than the actual money. So just go out and support. But once again, thank you for checking out this video. Of course, I actually just got a new episode of Order Up. My podcast is uploaded on SoundCloud and on the YouTube channel. You can definitely check that out as, as well. Um, I'm going to let you finish watching this video. And again, thank you so much for watching. Of course, Taryn Williams, Slicing, Dicing, Gaming. It's not just a motto. It's a lifestyle. And I'll see you in the next video. Later. And enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Destiny has reared its hand.